Drive AV is our AV platform and service. AV is the most intense machine learning and robotics challenge, one of the hardest but also the greatest impact. We're building an AV platform end to end, from the AV chips and computers, sensor architecture, data processing, mapping, developing the driving software, creating the simulator and digital twin, fleet command operations to road testing. All of it to the highest functional safety and cybersecurity standards. None of these things are openly available, so we build them. We build it in modules, so our customers and partners in the $10 trillion transportation industry can leverage the parts they need. Meanwhile, we build our end-to-end -end AV service in partnership with Mercedes. AV computing demand is skyrocketing. Orin is a giant leap over Xavier. The more developers learn about AV, the more advanced the algorithms become and the greater the computing demand. More computation capacity gives teams faster iteration and speed to market, leading some to call tops the new horsepower. And many are realizing that the reserve computing capacity today is an opportunity to offer new services tomorrow. NVIDIA Drive is an open programmable platform that AI engineers all over the world are familiar with. New AI technology is being invented on NVIDIA AI constantly. These inventions will be tomorrow's new services. Orin is an amazing AV computer. Today, we're announcing that Orin was also designed to be the central computer of the car. Orin will process in one central computer, the cluster, infotainment, passenger interaction AI, and very importantly, the confidence view, or the perception world model. The confidence view is what the car actually perceives around it and construct it into a 3D surround model. This is what's in the mind of the autopilot AI. It is important that the car shows us that its surround perception is accurate so that we have confidence in its driving. In time, rear view mirrors will be replaced by surround 3D perception. Orin is also important to the supply chain. Orin replaces tens of components in multiple ECUs. The car industry has realized that fewer critical components are far more reliable to the supply chain than hundreds of components from many suppliers, any of which can keep a car from being built. The future is one central computer, four domains, virtualized and isolated, architected for functional safety and security, software defined and upgradable for the life of the car, and super smart AI and beautiful graphics. Next generation cars have more technology than any computing system today. Sensors, AV, IX, and central computing, networking, safety and security architectures, massive data recorders, tons of complex software, fleet operations, on and on. Many car companies have already adopted Orin, and so it would help them tremendously to also leverage our full AV development platform. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA's eighth generation Hyperion car platform, including reference sensors, AV and central computers, the 3D ground truth data recorder, networking, and all of the essential software. Hyperion 8 is compatible with the NVIDIA Drive AV stack, so easy to adopt and integrate elements of our stack. Hyperion 8 is a fully functional, going to production, open AV platform for the multi-trillion dollar transportation ecosystem. Orin will be in production in 2022. Meanwhile, our next generation is already in full gear and will be yet another giant leap. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA Drive Atlan. Drive Atlan will be 1,000 tops on one chip. More than the total compute in most level five robo taxis today. To achieve higher autonomy in more conditions, sensor resolutions will continue to increase. There will be more of them. AI models will get more sophisticated. There will be more redundancy and safety functionality. We're gonna need all of the computing we can get. Atlin is a technical marvel, fusing all of NVIDIA's technologies in AI, auto, robotics, safety, and Bluefield secure data center technologies. AV and software must be planned as multi-generational investments. The software you invested billions in today must carry over to the entire fleet and to future generations. Drive follows our NVIDIA computing platform philosophy. 
super chips, full stack, and one architecture, and support the ecosystem for as long as we shall live. The Drive Atlin, the next level, one architecture. The car industry has become a technology industry. Future cars are gonna be completely programmable computers and business models are gonna be software driven. Car companies will offer software services for the life of the car. The new tech mindset sees the car not just as a product to sell, but as an install base of tens or hundreds of millions to build upon, creating billions in services opportunities. The world's big brands have giant opportunities. Step one was going electric. Now the big brands are making their new fleets autonomous and programmable. Orin will be powering many next generation EVs. And with Mercedes, we're building the end-to-end -end system. The world moves 10 trillion miles a year. If only a fraction of these miles were served by robo-taxis, the opportunity is giant. We expect robo-taxis to start ramping in the next couple of years. These services will also be platforms for all kinds of new services to be built upon, like last mile delivery. The internet moves electrons. Trucks move atoms. The rise of e-commerce is putting intense pressure on the system. One click and a new TV shows up at your house. Another click and a cheeseburger shows up. This trend will only go up. The US will be short by 100,000 truckers by 2023. The EU is short 150,000 truckers already. China is short 4 million drivers. So ideas like driverless trucks from hub to hub or driverless trucks inside a port or warehouse campus are excellent near-term ways to augment with automation. We started my talk with Omniverse. We'll close with Omniverse. You can see how important it is to our work, to robotics, to anyone building AIs that interact with the physical world to have a physically based simulator or digital twin. In the case of Isaac, the digital twin is the factory in Omniverse. In the case of Drive, the digital twin is the collective memories of the fleet captured in Omniverse. The Drive digital twin is used throughout the development. It's used for HD map reconstruction, synthetic data generation so we can bootstrap training new models, new scenario simulations, hardware in the loop simulations, release validation, for replaying unfamiliar scenarios experienced by a car, or a teleoperator uplinking into a car to remotely pilot. The Drive Digital Twin in Omniverse is a virtual world that every car in the fleet is connected to. Today, we're announcing that DriveSim, the engine of Drive Digital Twin, will be available for the community this summer. Let me show you what Drive AV and DriveSim can do. This is a mountain of technology. Enjoy.